Another day in Skyrim, and I, Lucian Flavius, expeditionary of the Dragonborn Gallery, am on a mission. Isn't that right, Lydia? I do wonder what Gore's up to now. I wish he'd stayed, but then after three days of tinkering in the museum, he did get rather bored, so went on his way. But to each their own, you know? That's what I always say. Perhaps we'll bump into him again sometime. Looks like some kind of battle going on. It never ends outside solitude, does it? Well, let's leave them to it and take this opportunity to review that note we were sent. A request to meet. Thank you for your efforts to protect my realm. I believe you possess something that I am in search of and I require it before I return home. It is the artifact from the Shivering Isles that served as the focus of Thorin's depraved rituals. Meet me beneath the Arch of Solitude upon the shore so that we might make an exchange. And no idea who it's from. But they did refer to my realm and the Shivering Isles. Stay alert. Never know when those and of course, the item that they're gone. after is this peculiar sword. The one that feels simultaneously too light and too heavy. Don't know whether it's necessarily in our best interest to give it to them. Because of course, there's no knowing what they might do with it, and it's obviously a source of tremendous magical power. However, I think it's worth at least meeting with them to see who they are, what they want, and have a chat. So I think that's what we'll do. The question is, are they referring to this shore underneath the arch, or that shore? Not particularly clear, I suppose we'll find out. Of course, there could be something to do with this ship. Didn't consider that. Can I go and say hello? I do so hope it is this shore that they're on, otherwise it's a bit of a swim. Hello? Anybody around? Hello? Hello? No? No one here? Oh, well, not this then. Uh... Lydia, what are you doing over there? I need you. That's more like it. Now, we're under the arch, and there's definitely no one here, whereas... On the other side of the shore... Yes, that looks like someone in Golden Saint's armour, if I'm not mistaken. What do you say, Lydia? Fancy a dip? Yes? Probably won't be too chilly. Here we go. Oh! Oh my word, that's cold! Oh, that's really cold! Oh, I regret my decision! Oh, this was a terrible life choice. We can just make it to the other side. Come on. Maybe there. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh, that's better. Hello. 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 Let's suppose we can get this fire lit, can we? Yes, there we are. That's better. Nice and toasty. Sorry, I'll be with you in a moment, madam. Oh. Where's Lydia got to? Still for real? What's going on? A fight? Seduce as bandits, I say! Stay back! Leave us alone! I don't necessarily know whether I'm fighting on the right side here, but this person isn't attacking us, whereas these people are. So I suppose we'd better try and fight them. Lydia, where are you? Could use your help. Where are they? That swim really rather froze me. Okay, one down. Another one down. Where is Lydia when you need her? What is other house, Carl? There we are. Job done. What are you doing right. That for? What am I doing what for? I just killed these people who were trying to kill you. Honestly. Ah, yes. Some gold. Marvellous, marvellous. Arrows and bread. All sorts of useful things. Take that. What was the last one? Oh, I don't know. Never mind. Ah! Lydia! Decided to join us, have you? 
was just about to introduce myself to this peculiar looking lady who, if I'm not mistaken, judging by your attire no and your eyes, you seem to be an actual golden saint. I. a daedra. And. sorry, with you in a moment. Mm -hmm. What is that? What is that there? Is that. is that a flying fish? Just drifting through the air? Fascinating. Look at that. It's sunk beneath the water. Huh, the things you see. Anyway, um, yes, madam. Just thought we'd have a chat. Watch what you're doing. Yes, I am doing. I am. I just thought we should discuss this note that you sent me uh, when Lydia's had a moment to catch up. Yes, so you, you sent me this note? Yes, indeed. Yes, um, I do believe I have what you're looking for, but the trouble is, you're a Daedra, quite obviously, from Oblivion, and generally I feel like giving Daedra weapons of magical power is possibly not a great idea, just it doesn't really line up with my ethical code, you know, I'm sure you understand, so I do have it, but I think, I think I'll have to keep it. Sorry, I am grateful for you to, for being the first Golden Saint we've encountered to not try and murder me on sight. But I do think I'm going to have to keep it. Sorry. Best of luck, though. Ooh, what do you think you're doing? Uh, oh, right. It's going to be like that, is it? Fine. Lydia, help. Sorry. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Here, hang on. Foos. Right, time to go. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, right, still coming. Um, in that case, quick thinking here. I've got one of these. Scroll of Conjured Dark Seducer Warrior. And that ought to sort you out. Please, can we not be burning? Help, help. There we are. I knew they wouldn't be friends. Boosh! we are. Marvellous. Sorry about that. Where did you go? Oh, hello. Yes, you're a rather interestingly dressed, aren't you? You're not envious, are you, Lydia? No. Wouldn't want you walking around like that. Anyway, where did she go? Or did the body disappear? It looked like she had potentially some rather interesting artefacts. No? No, I can't find it. There's blood on the snow. She was dispelled back to oblivion then. Oh well, never mind. Let's at least go and see if she had anything interesting on her camp. Yes, look at this. Hmm? Ah, yes, Zara. Uh, the help obviously expired. Uh, let's see. Soul gem, yes, please. Uh, report on Atronarch Forge experiments. What on earth? Finally, the laggard has conducted the experiments I requested weeks ago. Thankfully, my investment has paid dividends. The scrolls should prove useful to the saints and seducers should they ever get in over their heads with the caravan guards. I begin to wonder what would happen if my prized sheogorath shaped amber were used in the place of... No, it's too risky. Thoron. Thoron, using the amber and madness ore you provided in your last delivery, I have conducted the experiments you requested. I must say the results are quite extraordinary. Listed are the successful attempts using these materials with the Atronarch Forge. Let us speak again soon. If you could provide more of these materials, I sense a handsomely profitable partnership in our future. End there. And there's recipes for summoning Daedra using this Atronarch Forge thing. How remarkable. Oh well, we shan't be doing that, but I shall be taking this gold. Anything in here? Hmm? Might as well have it. Yes, well, that's that. Oh, an essential. I'll take these things. Marvellous. Lydia, where have you got to now? I don't know. Ah, there you are. Do try and keep up. Right then, well, that's that resolved. Next order of the day... Head back to Rassad and let him know that his caravans should be safe once again. Yes? Marvellous. Let's get cracking. 
Now, if my calculations are right, given the time of year and the particular day and Rassad's normal schedule, as we learned from the usual uh, horse people at the stables, uh, horse people of course being the correct word for that, Rassad should be somewhere along this road. So if we head along it, oh, heavens, a giant, hello sir, don't mind us. Yes, if we head along here, we should find him. Ah, wolves. See if the usual fire trick works. Back, I'm warning you. No, no, violence it is. Oh, sorry, Lydia. Sorry, wolves. Honestly, why didn't you run away? Why did we have to do that? Oh, well. Yes, we just follow this road. Look at this. Nice little village. Granite Hill, if my memory of the map serves me correctly. Lovely. The dead trees in. Ah, clever, because there's dead trees outside. I understand. Well, uh, Rissard should be somewhere along here, but I'm sure we won't miss him if we just nip in for a spot of dinner. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. What a lovely place. Hello, Inkeep. <sighs> oh. Oh. Uh, hello to you too. Uh, what have you got for sale? Let's sate that appetite, hmm? Yes, let's. Ah, marvellous. Some garlic bread. Yes, please. This is very nice. Oh, and chicken dumplings. I'll enjoy those. Ooh, and a snowberry crostata or two. Don't mind if I do. Ah, and my own personal favourite, sweet rolls. Lovely. Thank you so much. All right, then. Oh, don't suppose yes. actually I could have a refill of water. Of course. Thank you. Marvellous. I love the way you do it without even moving your All hands. Right, Very then. clever. Hello, sir. Need something? No, nothing in particular. Just being friendly. All right, just have this snack. Mm -mm. Oh, garlic bread, marvellous. Nibble bit of the crustata, thank you. And oh, finish with a sweet roll, very nice. Very nice. Save those dumplings for later. Ah, it seems to have gotten rather dark, that's unfortunate. Uh, never mind, uh, we should still be alright to meet Rassad. He's not far up this road, I wouldn't have thought. We can always... Double back and stay in that inn if necessary. Just uh, light up a torch. Make sure we don't get... Ow! What was that? A trap of some kind. Oh, heavens! Someone being attacked! Gosh! Poor man! Oh, well, so sorry. Awful. Bandits, I suppose. Oh, look, a flame atronarch. I think it's seen us. What was that? Yes, I think it's seen us. Ooh, that was hot. Yeah, let's work on it. Yes, good. There we are. Yes, well, it was only one. Ooh. Explosive. Right then, Rissard. Rissard. Could that be our man? No, Someone that's not our man. That is... What is that? Bandit? Horse one. And a... Some kind of witch. It must be a hag raven. Nice word. Ugh. Can't linger over you. Hey, Rasad's all right. If the force one around tonight. I wonder if they murdered these soldiers. Oh man. Oh, it's Rasad, and a fight with the force one. Uh, we let them let them do their thing. I think. Where's Rassad gone? We need to catch up with him. Oh, Lydia, you're getting involved now. All right. 
Here we go. Not much of a choice. before we get too far ahead. Where's he gone? Rassad? Rassad? Keep your eyes peeled for a panicked looking Khajiit. Definitely went in this general direction. Rain now as well. Facade? Oh, this is ridiculous. I will never find him in this. Rasad! 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 Have you seen a panic for huh? the No? Oh dear. Stormy. Nothing for it. We'll have to spend the night here, I think. Try and find him again in the morning. Ooh, that was a very pleasant sleep. <sighs> Excuse me. Need something. Ah, I say. Hello, Lydia. Who was that chap? Back already? Uh, yes, I am. If you don't mind, if you've not decided to settle here, would you care As to follow you command, me? My Marvellous. Right then. Let's be off. Where will Rassad like be now, I wonder? The spirit in troubled times. Now, Rassad's next destination would have been Whiterun. Now, if we assume he carried on through the night, as Khajiit often do... Then we'd best follow along this road and hope to meet him there. Somewhere along the road, anyway. Let's see. Yes, That's white run this way. Oh, hello! Guys. What? What's this? You picked a bad, bad idea. What's going on? My <laughs> word! It's like our magic's meeting somehow. Oh, gonna get him. Stay clear, Mr. Deer. Just stronger. You're not afraid you'll set fire to something? Well, he attacked me. Who on earth was he? No idea. No idea what this was about. And I'll take that. Huh. Remarkable. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Oh? Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Well, thank you very much. Let's see, what was it? Ah, a letter from Orion. Good day, my friend. I hope this message finds you well. I wanted to report to you the current success of the museum, and to offer you an additional incentive, since you have proven yourself quite capable indeed. We have started to receive visitors to the museum, and they are quite taken with the displays. I've set up a donation box near the museum entrance, and I will leave your share of the contributions made by patrons who visit inside it. Feel free to help yourself to the proceeds any time you stop by. Additionally, I wanted to offer the use of the museum's safe house. It's been locked up and unused for some time, but I went in and made sure it was in good order. You will find it is fully equipped with all the amenities you could ever want. This key will give you access. Be well and keep up the good work. Orion Morellus. Well, isn't that nice? We could use a safe house, save us paying for an inn every time we're in solitude. What else have we got? Many thanks for dealing with the ruffians that have plagued humble merchants such as this one for some time. Coin flows well once again. Rizar has new wares for sale that would interest one such as you. More of the arms and armor used by the saints and seducers have been found and can be yours for a price. This one has also traded for strange new raw materials. Rizar knows not what they could be used for, but this one is sure you could find a way to put them to good use. May your road lead to warm sands. Oh, so he must have heard that we solved the problem already. Well, we still ought to catch up with him, because you never know. 
There might be a reward. So if we head on this way, following our courier friend, we might be able to catch him. And he might have something for sale that might interest us. Should get there in relatively good time. This land really is beautiful. Oh, gosh. I've just realised we've got to have breakfast. Mm -mm. Delicious, delicious. <laughs> That'll keep us going for the day. Well, not for the day, for the morning. <sighs> Look at this, what happened here? These are sabre cats. Two of them dead together. Perhaps they killed each other. Aren't they magnificent? Look at those fangs. Incredible. Anyway, on this way with our friend the courier. We can make it a race. Hello, sir. On your left. Hello, madam. Good morning to you. Somebody help! Oh, no, help with don't. what? What's going on? What's happening? <laughs> ah! Wolves! <laughs> that hurt. Now that's how it's done. Why did you do that? Why did we just have to kill you? Oh, I'm so sorry. You did rather ask for it. He thought I looked like an easy breakfast. Regaining on him. Oh, didn't quite catch him. Your stamina, sir, is most remarkable. What's going on up there? Someone do something. Yes, well, uh, I would, but I don't know whether we should necessarily get involved. I'm getting so, out of here. Yes, I, I would recommend that battle of some kind between bandits and other bandits? I don't think we'll get involved in that. We'll head on towards White Run. We can find the right way. Yeah, it's this way. Ah, yes, you've had the same idea. We should catch up with him soon. Come along, no more stops. Hello. We need to find our way to solitude. To solitude? Even going to a wedding at this far flung end of the empire. This is anyway. not the way to solitude. I told you. This, this is the opposite. Of Victoria Vici, an mm -hmm. extremely well connected merchant from the east end. I'm sure you know what you're doing. So, do you live in White One then, sir? Yes? It's a lovely place, isn't it? Don't you find the weather here is simply remarkable? Wonderful. You are quiet, aren't you? A man of few words, but many letters. A man who carries words, but never delivers them himself. Well, you do deliver them, of course. That's your job, you're a delivery man. But, you know, you don't say them. Well, you do say them. You say, uh, usually, you there. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your eyes only. And all of that. Yes, I know that's your job, isn't it? Oh, changed my mind. Thought you were going this way. So yes, I'm actually looking for mm. the caravan merchant, Rissard. He gave me a job, you see, and I've completed the job. Where did you come from? Oh, gosh! Why are all the animals attacking me today? Ow! Help! I'm being chased by a moose! Hello, hello, Get under attack. Oh, it's gone. There it is. It's off. Right. Well, uh... That was interesting. What are you doing now? Hmm. Anyway, this should be where I would expect to meet Rassad. But he's not here. Oh, perhaps we beat him here. We did make rather good time. Eh. Might as well wait for him, I suppose. Yes, we'll just uh, hang here until he turns up. Let's do that. What do you mean this is the wrong camp? 
This is where Rassad lives. This is his tent. This is where he's normally sitting. Oh. No, hang on. No, it's not, is it? His is, his is, up, is up there. So oh, that's a good shout. Never mind. Never mind. He may have stood waiting there for an hour. But, you know, it was an hour well spent and all that. Yes, sir. yes, this is bizarre. Okay, you, you're right. Uh, hello. How can I assist? I've hmm? taken care of the saints and seducers, as I'm sure you're already aware from your letter, but I've just come to, to let you know that officially. I have taken care of Excellent. Them. And now, please, accept this token of appreciation. Oh, thank you. Oh, that was so unexpected. Most appreciated. You're very kind. Uh, anything to say? Take a look. Anything that we fancy? All sorts of things. Sort of books and gems. Ah, and of course, the Golden Saints things that you said you would have. Yeah. Nothing here that really appeals, I don't think. No. But uh, I do thank you for your uh, your custom. And I wish you a wonderful day. May your road lead you to warm sands. And yours. And yours, good sir. Right then, what now? Well, I think we should still wrap up this whole business with the saints and seducers. And there are a few loose ends that still need tying. So let's get started with those. Ah, the forests of Falkreath. I've heard many tales of the trees here, of mysterious creatures that live here, and the Bad idea. peculiar characters who run at you. Honestly. Thank you, Lydia, for dealing with this ruffian. Why is he so violent? Here, allow me to assist. What was that about, sir? Most unnecessary. I will, however. Take your potions, your moonstone, and your iron. I will bid you farewell. Oh, going off full brief already. Awful place. Well, here we are at Half Moon Mill, where the Saints blacksmith Jofton supposedly spent a lot of time. Now, his notes on forging that armor should be hidden around here somewhere, but where exactly? Now, what did the note say? It said... Several different notes. Was I on the blacksmith? Yes, Jofton, right. And it said... Playing under the bridge like you were still a child. That's where I always hid my toys. I just keep just living around Half Moon Mill. And that's where we are. This is Half Moon Mill. So under the bridge? Something under the bridge? Maybe? Is this the right bridge? There, is there another bridge? Yes, there's another bridge. That bridge is more likely, isn't it? Not this one. That one. Ah, a chest. This has got to be what we're after. Yes. Jofton's notes. Let's have a read of those. An ancient battle site was discovered near Thoron's lair. On the ground, an assortment of weapons and armor of the Daedra known as Golden Saints and Dark Seducers laid strewn about. It is from this site that we took up their arms and joined together as bandit companies under their names. Since then, as the only blacksmith, I've taken it upon myself to study these otherworldly artifacts, and now, at last, my efforts to reproduce the exquisite craftsmanship of these great daedra has finally borne fruit. My mind is not what it once was. If my memory fails me, at least these notes can help the others keep the craft alive. One would be foolish to forge weapons from gold, as it is far too soft, and yet the golden blades of the saints are nimble and harder than steel. How could this be? The trick appears to be threefold. First, the structure of the piece must be reinforced with refined moonstone. Second, the gold must be hammered into place while the gold is heated just below its melting point. Third, the introduction of the heart of a daedra to the forge when heating the piece so it can be hammered into shape completely transforms the attribute of the metal, giving it its uncanny hardness. The heart of a daedra? Ugh! 
Anyway, the process for forging the dark armor of the seducers is similar but requires more finesse, as you must balance shaping the unyielding ebony with the malleable quicksilver. The heat applied must be very precise, or the shape and integrity of the equipment will be ruined. As before, introduce the Daedric heart to the forge as you heat the material. Well, I'm glad we've recovered these notes anyway, because if nothing else, no one else is going to find them. So that's one more piece of oblivion removed from Skyrim. Now, onwards to our next objective! Now, Thorne's notes mentioned a smith called Evithra, who'd figured out the secret of smithing madness and amber ore. Now, we really can't have that, not if she's associated with the seducers, so let's go and say hello. Hello? My name is Lucian. Ow, ow, ow. All right, all right. That's the way we're going to have this conversation, and so be it. Oh. Oh, good going, Lydia. Well done handling Evithra. Let's see. Ah! A magic apron. Well, that would be wonderful to have, but I'm really not going to strip a corpse, so I'll just leave that there. But your journal, on the other hand, now that will be interesting. And gold, and a lot of people want a spell term. Marvellous, very helpful. Anything around here? Ah, yes, another copy of this. Oh, and some more madness horns. Oh, these things, very interesting. Very interesting. Yes, we'll take all of this. All of this that's useful anyway. Uh, da -da -da -da. Marvelous. Right. What did this journal say then? I know of you both, Amber and Madness. I am well acquainted with your secrets. Amber, the glowing works of an alien root, I find your resin pristine and holy. Light and powerful, you require a delicate hand, one that recognises the fragile nature of beauty. Madness, I know you to be a flexible breed, one congealed from the tattered minds of dead heroes. Unlike Amber, I would bend and bow you like sinew. I would beat and hammer you, stretch and fold you, knowing that each blow would callous your skin and sharpen your teeth. It was dark armoured men that brought me these treats, these puzzles to solve. Courtesy of Thoron, they said, liars. There is no Thoron, not any more. He is a memory of long past, and memories are as real as dreams and other fanciful thoughts. Still, I had to have them. Amber, so exquisite, so pretty, like drops of fallen stardew. From your honeyed globes, I would craft myself an armour that trapped me inside your beauty and warmth. I would suffocate myself in your light, and in death live for eternity. But madness, oh madness, you charm me with your edge. From you I would forge a knife to cut out Shiagorath's tongue and use it to lick the dust off my anvil. Oh, how happy that would make all three of us. In my desperation, I've turned to magic to try and turn these earthly materials into your equals. I have forged armour and blade in hopes of finding a worthy pair, but they are failures, not fit to be your shadows. So instead, I will mine the forests and the dead. I will have caravans search the far corners of Tamriel. I will reach into the eye of oblivion itself until I find you both again. Absolutely crackers. Much like everyone else in this entire enterprise. Oh, hello. No, 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 no. Not having any of that. Thank you very much, sir. Well then, Lydia, it looks like there's just one final piece of this whole wretched business to clear up. I'm glad we returned to those bandit camps and had a scrummage around because we found this note. An exotic treasure is said to be hidden in Crystal Drift Cave. Heard it from a coinless trader trying to save his own skin. Going to send a few to see if his story checks out. If the story is true, we need to be sure the saints don't find it first. Our benefactor will be pleased. And this if I'm not mistaken, is Crystal Drift Cave. So let's go in there, find this treasure, and we can put the story of the saints and the seducers behind us. Hello? Oh, I see! Wolves! Lydia, I think this one might be a bit tricky. They've not really got anywhere to run. We do need to get past them. Ah, and they've seen us. Uh, stay back, Mr. Wolf. I've got, I've got fire. Just run away! Just run away! 
Oh no. No, 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 no. Why don't they run? Such a pity. Ah! Look at this, some kind of shrine. Gadnor, my trusted friend and companion, has been laid to rest. I have built a shrine to watch over him and bring peace to weary travellers. Of the few riches Gadnor possessed in life, his most prized was a warhammer made of jagged crystal he famously won in a coin toss. After months of research, he came to believe this hammer was some sort of otherworldly treasure. Shortly before his passing, it was his wish that it be hidden away until one who has walked the Shivering Isles emerges to retrieve it. I have followed his instructions to the letter, and a powerful illusion spell now obscures it. To break the spell, one must first acquire pieces of what supposedly make up the weapon itself, amber and madness ore. Such things, if they actually exist, would be great treasures in their own right. If the enchantment is correct, only by placing the ores into the embers near Gadnor's body will the spell be broken. If Gadnor is not mad, perhaps one day this peerless weapon will find its way into worthy hands once again. I see! Fascinating! Well then, that must be Gadnor, looking remarkably fresh if he's been here a while. And these must be the embers described in the book. So if we just place the oars like so... Ah! Yes! Splendid! Oh, look at that! That is beautiful! Fascinating! Look at the structure! The way the crystals seem to grow through the metal! Absolutely remarkable! And it's powerful, too! I can feel it positively thrumming in my hands! Can you feel that, Lydia? Isn't that amazing? Oh! I see! We have company! Bandits with skeevers now? Leave me alone! Fools! Very handy hammer. Need to sort this chap out. There we are. I have had enough of these wretched seducers. Ow! They shan't be seducing me, I'll tell you that much. Something to think about. Ow! Oh, we can do this, Lydia. Only one bandit. There we are. Yeah. Job done. Oh, don't worry, you were never in any real danger. I'd have protected you. Well, there we are. Bandit defeated. With a bit of luck, we'll never have to face the saints or the seducers ever again. So, we have a most remarkable prize. It will look wonderful on the museum wall, don't you think? I can't wait to show Orion. Well then, away we go!